Today we're going to learn about editing in GarageBand as well as selecting an intro and outro. First I'd like a quick um, review of what we learned last week, so open up GarageBand. Select the empty project. And of course you want to ensure that your microphone is set to the one you're using. Mine is set to H2 because I'm using an external H2 microphone. But if you need to set yours to internal, you do it here and then create. Start recording by hitting the record button. And then talk. It's sometimes helpful to have some kind of script beforehand, at least something, uh, a topic, a focus. Uh, for which to read from, at least refer to, so you don't stumble up too much. When you're finished recording, hit stop. And editing is actually quite simple. You take the playhead, and you see you could scrub this way with the playhead. Place it where you want to edit, where you want to split the clip and then choose Edit and Split at Playhead or Command T. And you'll see that splits the clip into two sections. Then select the next place you want to split it. Hit Command T. <coughs> Delete the center section and then you can just drag the vocal field uh, to the edge of the other one, and it's really that simple to edit. The next thing for your podcast is to select an intro and outro, and this is like a theme song. And you do so, I pull up media by these uh, buttons over here on the top right. The one on the very right will pull up your iTunes, so if it's um, your own music or something that you've recorded or have license to use, you could choose it from there. Anything you might have saved in GarageBand. But I always use the middle one here, which is the loops. And these are built-in loops with GarageBand with royalty-free songs at varying lengths that you could use. And the first time you pull it up, you're going to have to let it load. Once it loads, you will see all of these choices. They're on the bottom right. and play around to see which songs you like. I'm going to choose this one. And then you just drag it to the timeline right beneath your vocal field. You can just drag these vocal clips around, move them down a little bit so you have a nice room for your intro where there's nothing but music playing there at the beginning. Find a good place to split your clip. Make sure that the track you're looking for or that you're going to be editing is the one that's highlighted. So I just clicked on it to make sure it was highlighted. Click Command T and then you will split that clip. Right there at the playhead. Delete the back half if you'd like. And we do this by clicking this button. right there. The one that looks like it has a couple of little dots. That way you can choose breaking points. You see where I'm doing here? The kind of about two-thirds of the way through, then three-quarters of the way through, and at the end. And that way I can pull the volume down really quickly and then fade the rest of it out under the speech. So when you export this, it's going to fade right underneath uh, your intro, your, I mean your vocal intro to your podcast. And then we're going to want to do the exact same thing for the outro. And this is the music leading out of it. So I'm going to pull another instance of this there. As you see, there's like no sound waves. It takes a minute to populate the sound waves. As you see, as I scroll back and forth, there's more and more there. Get to the end, find a good place that you're going to start from because you're going to fade up from here. Make sure that 
the track is selected uh, before you um, split that clip. And clicked Command T. Delete the middle section. Drag the last bit right as the last part of your podcast. You're speaking the last part of your podcast. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use the same volume. You see that the line is already there from where we faded out before. So we're going to take a few more editing points here by just clicking on the line, pulling it up slowly and then really quickly and so we can have the outro there and that clip there I added before that 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 last track it's called a master track and if you just go up and click fade out it's going to fade out the entire thing there slowly automatically And that's pretty much how you put an intro and outro into your podcast, record your podcast. And we are going to listen uh, to what that sounds like. Welcome to your very first podcast. And today we will be learning to edit in GarageBand as well as choose an intro and outro to make our podcast sound professional and interesting. So... Stay tuned. So hopefully you see how the intro and outro work together along with your voice, your podcast. When you're finished and ready to export, you go to share and then down to save to disk, which is what I like to do. Then you could choose your output where, of course, you want to save it, what you want to name it. Make sure you save it in a place that you can navigate to again easily where you can find it again. Name your podcast or at least the segment so you know what it is just by the title and click export and voila, you have got your first podcast. Congratulations. Next week we will spend a little bit more time on intro and outro as well as maybe soundtracks underneath your podcast and getting it all ready to upload to the iStore and iTunes so people can download it. Join me then. Look forward to it. Have a great day.